Hey everyone, this time I'm going to show you how to improve the responsiveness of the whole PDA desktop environment. Last time I showed you a tutorial how to speed up the PDA plasma by running certain command uh, with giving arguments to start the PDA plasma with raster graphics system. So basically if you have uh, Qt 4.7 and, and you probably have al already it's now much easier to do you don't have to type in that command and start plasma with all those arguments like you did before all you need to do is actually just install uh, one application which is uh, which actually changes uh, to make a raster graphics system by default in KDE environment. So the first thing you should do is actually go to KDE apps.org and search for KSM. Here you have it. Click on it and download the source. I save it in my home folder. Okay, now when it's downloaded, just uh, open up your home folder and extract it. Here it is. Now, basically, as you can see, enter that folder, and uh, what you should do now is open the terminal here. Uh, if you use Dolphin, it's very easy. Just click on F4. Now, as you can see, we have the command shell. And what we need to do is basically first to compile the application. Before you compile it, make sure that you have uh, all the boot tools you need, like CMake. In Ubuntu, it's called that mm, package called with all those. Uh, building tools, uh, build es essentials. Let me write in here. And also, you might need the KDE Base Dev packages, just like uh, so the cute ones. Um, if you use, if you use any other distributions, you might need to research a bit how to compile the stuff in it what packages you need to install so basically when you have done this what you should do is basically uh, just run this command I will post it in the video description so you all you need to do is actually copy and paste so basically yeah run this command As you can see, it's compiling. It takes long because my desktop recording software uses all the CPU. Yep. As you can see, configuring done, generating done, move files to hell have been writing to the director. So if you get this this means that everything then fine. So the next thing you should do is actually click on uh, type in make and as you can see now it's compiling. This shouldn't take too long. But now okay uh, as you can see it's been completed and the last command you might might need to run make install but you need to run it by root so there is a step to do sudo make install type in your password and as you can see everything has been installed so now after a couple of seconds you can close it this everything should appear in system settings
by everything I mean this cute graphic system so basically you, you just open it and here as you can see there's three options default x1 x11 x range which is actually a default as you can see but it's not the fastest one you might want to use raster is actually the one which you should use and OpenGL is experimental as you can see and it basically I guarantee that it won't work for you uh, fine but because of the bad drivers so actually OpenGL is the future you, you will see a much much bigger performance increase when you use OpenGL rather than raster but for now it's just a dream so click on raster click apply and then you see the message to open changes you will have to log out and back in again so do what it's writing here and after login another login you will get a much snapper version of TDA and everything will be much more responsive not only the KDA Plasma but all of the other all others Qt and KDA applications too so uh, you won't need to ruin the Plasma with all those commands again uh, it's just simple so thanks for watching don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe